I have been doing some explorations in reversible lace, and I want to show you how to work a right-leaning reversible decrease. The stitches are set up here very similar to double knitting. Stitches 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on form the right side or obverse of the work, and stitches 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on form the back or reverse of the work. So when I want to work a right-leaning decrease, I want to knit two together. It, that is, I want to knit together stitch one and stitch three. And of course, if you see, you see if I start to do that, stitch two is in the way. I'm sure there's more than one way to do this. I'm going to show you how I do it, which is I rearrange the stitches and then work the decreases. I start by slipping stitches one, two and three purlwise onto the right needle. Then I'm going to roll the work over a little bit. I put the left needle tip into stitch number two. So that's what it looks like. Now here's the scary bit. I am going to pull the right needle out of stitches three and two and then immediately put it back in stitch three and do this without changing the facing of stitch three, which is why I'm holding it with my thumb. So here we go out and right back in. Now stitch two and four are next to each other and stitch one and three are next to each other, which means now I can work the decrease. So I put one and three back on the left needle and now I can work them together as a knit two together that looks like pretty much any other knit two together you might do. What may not be obvious is the mirror of knit two together is slip slip purl. You may be familiar with slip slip knit and hopefully you are because slip slip purl is only a little bit different from slip slip knit. So when you work a left-leaning knit decrease, you insert the right needle tip as if to knit and slip the stitch. And then you do it a second time. And by doing that, you have turned both of these stitches. They were facing to the left, and now they are facing to the right. Then you put them back on the left needle, maintaining that new stitch facing. And now if you're doing this as a left-leaning knit decrease, the right needle goes in from right to left and from front to back, because the front is on this side of the work, and the yarn is at the back and you wrap to create a knit stitch, or knit two together, really. So if you're doing this purl-wise, you're doing the same thing but in reverse, which means the yarn is in the front instead of in the back, and the needle is going from left to right and up through the back of the stitches. And I wrap this just as I would for any other purl stitch, and I pull that through. So that is a slip-slip purl. And you can see here on the right side of the fabric, or the obverse, you see there's my, my line of stitches, and they lean towards the edge of my fabric. And if I flip this over, You will see here's the reverse that I did from the purl side, and it is also leaning towards the edge of the fabric. So that is a mirrored right-leaning decrease, and this will work in reversible lace, and this will also work in double knitting.